Congress is looking into whether companies tried to conceal the health risk of an industrial chemical used in firefighting foam at military bases across the country. NAS Jacksonville is one of more than 600 sites exposed to the toxic compound. And last month, the Navy tested wells in Mayport and an airfield on the west side to ensure the drinking water does not contain toxins. News for Jacks reporter Ashley Harding is joining us now live from NAS Jacksonville. Ashley, we expect to learn the results of those tests pretty soon, right? Yes, we do, Jen. The Navy said the test could take up to 30 days, so we could have the results by the end of this month. Now, in the meantime, Congress wants to know what the companies that made that chemical knew about these risks. PFAs were developed by 3M in the 1950s. For decades, the chemicals were primarily used in firefighting foam at military bases. While the company stopped making the chemicals in the early 2000s, the Navy is still testing to see if PFAs have seeped into drinking water. Those tests were conducted at NAS Jacks last year and just last month in Mayport and around the White House airfield on the west side. Yesterday, members of Congress grilled representatives from 3M and other chemical companies, saying they had known for decades that the chemicals were dangerous, but took steps to conceal that information. Now, the companies fired back, testifying that there is no cause and effect between these chemicals and health problems. All of this despite research showing a link. What are 3M's plans for compensating service members and veterans that were exposed to these chemicals, chemicals that your company had determined as harmful to human health? The studies we have do not indicate uh, at the levels of exposure in the environment in the past or today that adverse human health effects exist. We are, however, continuing our studies and we will work proactively with scientific bodies. The Centers for Disease Control says the health effects from low environmental levels at PFAs are uncertain, but they also say tests on lab animals have shown they could affect growth and development. And NAS Jacksonville did test positive for the chemical, but the Navy says the drinking water is safe. Now, we will let you know when the test results come back for Mayport and White House. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.